Okay, so I continue my journey through Infinity Watch. I have started working on slash investing in Adam Warlock and Nebula. The previous videos you saw me deal with Phyla and Gamora and Moon Dragon. Now, Adam and Gamora and Nebula aren't done yet. So the playtesting, not going to be quite as good. And I'm not going to actually do a proper playtest of them until I can get them like up to those respectable levels. However, I still need to go through their kits. Because I quickly read through Adam Warlock. And his kit makes me think maybe the Infinity Watch was a mistake. Let's get to the video. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer them, scream their names. And years later, they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here and this is a Marvel Strike Wars video. In this video, uh, I'm going through Adam Warlock and Nebula. Uh, I'm gonna go through Nebula first, I think, because I'm a little bit more experienced with her. I was using her in my first stint at Marvel Strike Force, and now the second stint. I just got Adam Warlock, just unlocked him, took him level 85. I don't have enough gear to even take him tier 16. They are going to be the weakest members of my group because I'm going to go ahead and get Gamora Diamond. That's coming soon. Phyla, I was fortunate enough to find Diamond. Cool. Nebula, I still don't have enough of her frags, and it's coming because you can farm her for really cheap, actually. Um over here and let me see how much do i need uh, uh, yeah i see so i'm gonna farm this uh, i'm tempted to do it right now honestly i'm tempted to farm her right now but anyway so nebula i'm gonna deal with and adam warlock let's start with nebulas and their kits i might do a little play test like in blitz but just to show them i'm not gonna really be going through it relentless pursuit attack primary target for 280 percent damage plus five percent of target's max health. Wait, what? Gain speed up. So, and if I max that out, it'd be 10% of the max health of the, cli of the client. Yeah, can you tell them at work? Of the character, and then plus 40% primary damage to, damage to target. Don't normally do this. Gonna go ahead and do this now. So, max health, 443. So, 5% of that is going to be, uh, God, I forgot to do math. 2,000, just under 2,000, so 2,150-ish. Um, okay, all right. Would love to be able to boost your health up more, though, if it's dependent on that. Anyway, challenging foe. Attack primary target for 240% damage, plus gain two counter. Nice again to count, and then apply two counter to all Affinity Watch allies. That I like, and I feel like this might have happened in that previous video where I like put them in. Apply two counter to all Infinity Watch allies is really cool to me. I love that ability, actually. And then the level seven is plus 70% damage. I'm never I'm probably not gonna if I, you know, end the game and I got nothing else to do, then I'll do that, but I'm not looking at that. Alright. Mayhem. Attack primary target for 270% damage. Apply heal block. 60% chance to chain to two adjacent targets for 220% damage. Plus apply heal block. If this character has three or more Infinity Watch allies, chain to three adjacent targets. Gain evade, apply evade to all, uh, gain two evade, apply evade to all Infinity Watch allies. I like that. Counter attack breaks this chain. If this character has three or more Infinity Watch allies, this attack cannot be countered. Attacks always crit if the target is summoned or cloned. All right, so how would she be summoned? And then down if I take a level seven, it's plus 80% damage, plus 80% damage to, to uh, secondary targets. Chain to two adjacent targets, I guess, instead of just one. Um, if this character has three or more Infinity Watch allies, chain to 10 adjacent targets. So you just bouncing back and forth between people. That's what that is. And then last, exploit weakness. On spawn, gain speed up. Okay, if health is full at the start of battle, revive once with 10% of this character's max health. 15% uh, for each, plus 15% for each Infinity Watch ally on revive gain death proof. So then that means I've got four allies, it's going to be 60%. So she's going to revive with 70% health. And then, woo, 
on turn, apply assist now plus speed up for two two random. Oh no, four. Whoa, whoa, whoa sorry. What? On turn, to apply a uh, assist now plus speed up to one random Gamora ally. Yo, I what what was my what brain fart was that that I was having? Gain plus ten percent chance to assist plus ten percent per Infinity Watch ally, which will put it at fifty percent if I'm running my full team. All right, so that is her kit. What's up with the summon thing? Who's gonna summon Gamora? Or not Gamora, Nebula. I don't remember that being in any of the kits. Maybe it's here with Adam Warlock. Now I read his kit like before when I was like working on him over the weekend or whatever. It seems so like, but like, okay, cool, I guess. It ain't nothing special. Attack primary target for 290% damage. Prolong the duration of all negative status effects, excluding ability block and stun for one. Apply two bleeds to the primary target. This is pretty cool on an A1. Um, I would have loved if this was an AOE attack, but I'm being greedy. But I do like the idea of extending, like prolonging the duration of negative status effects. I do like that. Then attack, oh, oh did I already do the, yeah, and then apply two bleeds for two turns is the level seven. Uh, enfeebling blast, sure. Uh, attack primary target for 380% damage. Apply ability block for two turns. Apply ability block to all enemy villain protectors for two turns. Okay, so ability block for two turns on the primary target. I like ability block a lot. I've grown to really love that debuff. Apply ability block to all enemy villain protectors for two turns. So if, I, if there's a rhino over there, if there is a cold obsidian over there, then they're going to end up getting ability block. Apply disrupt it to all enemy protectors. So whether it's a Colossus or a Rhino, they're all gonna get disrupted. This attack is unavoidable. All right, this is coming from, okay, cool, gotcha. Next, apply safeguard to self and all Infinity Watch allies. Woot. Uh, apply primary target, or attack, apply. Attack primary target for 350% damage. Apply stun, chain to one target within two spaces of the, tar of the primary target for 300% damage plus apply stun this attack can chain to stealth targets this attack cannot be countered okay cool love that and then now last but least avatar of life the thing that you see all the time when you actually kill them um on spawn safeguard or right, on spawn apply safeguard and uh, immunity to all infinity watch allies see for that alone i probably i gotta run them the other rest of the kit was okay it wasn't great nothing spectacular but like yo um, if health is full at the start of a match, so if health helps revive once with 60% of this character's max health, um, on revive again, death proof plus regeneration. What does it mean on revive? Oh, on revive gain again. I was like, all right, so you're going to do it twice. On revive gain, death proof and regeneration. That's nice. I do like that. Uh, defense up. Then clear all negative status effects from self and all Infinity Watch allies. I like that. So then if he does die, he's clearing like all the negative status effects, bringing himself back with 60% health, regeneration, de defense up, and death proof. That's that's good. I like that. That's good. On turn, clear regeneration from all enemies. If any enemy had regeneration, apply regeneration for two turns to the most injured ally. That's cool. So I'm going to clear... On my turn, I clear all the regeneration from the all enemies. If any enemy had regeneration, apply regeneration for two turns to the most injured ally. Okay, so we're gonna give that regen to an ally. When this character drops below 20% health, gain regeneration and safeguard. Uh, when this character or any Infinity Watch ally gains death proof, apply safeguard to that character, okay. Uh, if this character has four or more infinity, aren't there only like four other ones? Infinity Watch allies, lower damage by 10% for all enemies, gain plus 20% max health, um, Infinity Watch gain 20% max health, and they also get 30% uh, damage, or not damage, armor. I mean, this kid's okay. It is okay, but it was nothing to write home about. Now, I think this one is the most interesting one. Um, stun chain... And it was the most interesting one because, wait, no, 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 we'll leave that back. See, I'm trying to figure out which ability, if I had to take one to, let me just say what I'm thinking. If I had to take one to level seven, 
Which one am, am I doing? This one here, it has the apply ability block disrupted to enemy protectors. Um, apply disrupted to all enemy protectors for two turns. Uh, primary damage, no. This one is probably it. When this character drops below 20% health, gain two deflect plus 10% health for self and all Infinity Watch allies. I think that's the one that I'm gonna like invest in next. His kid is okay. However, I'm still confused by the whole nebula summoning thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that's fine, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them into blitz, all of them into blitz. Um, it does not seem like it's going to be fair, if I'm being real, but I don't have many other options to like run them all together at the same time. So, or, or, or I could take them into campaign. I could take them into campaign in Nexus and then see how they go up against the last note. So there they are. Check, check. Oh. Oh. And three, two. So actually, I recorded, I gotta be honest, I recorded another video for with the MSF originals. And I did not like the way it turned out. So I'm not putting it out there. That thing will be deleted immediately. Um but yeah, that's why you saw like the Infinity Watch with uh, Spider Weaver and uh, Death Pool. All right, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, let's just do this. Be smarter. Uh, it, it would be smart if I actually use the alphabet. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, ready. Okay. 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 I'm not so sure. Now, I think they would be strong enough to deal with it overall. However, I'm not I'm not so sure about Adam Warlock and uh, Nebula's ability to stick with it. You know, that's what I'm worried about. <sighs> All right, so here we go. And actually, I'll be right back. Peek behind the curtain. I was so exhausted trying to make this video that I damn near fell asleep. And check, 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 check. Actually, remove that part. And you know what? We're gonna come back in three, two. All right, guys, you know what? I gotta be real with you. I gotta be real. So I'm coming back from a break, right? And I'm just gonna, you know, center myself up on camera, own it. I am so exhausted right now. I'm so tired today that while I was making this video, I like damn near fell asleep twice. I like literally lost my train of thought. I'm putting myself, I'll even put this on the YouTube short. I was so tired. I was so tired that in the middle of playing this game, I was talking, I had no idea what I had just said. I'm just, man, your boy's going through it. Uh, so let's just go back to the game, but your boy's tired. I need to sleep for like 50, 11 hours. Okay, here we go. So, the idea here is, I'm in Infinity Watch, the team, themselves, PvE, last stage of Nexus. This allows me to really read through their kits, the thing that I've been doing before where it was like in war or whatever, which is nice, they're cool. It is, the problem with that is that this is also timed. And so I don't get to like really read through their kits and stuff, and so I found myself like losing the battles, and of course it's not that big of a deal, but it was still annoying. Um, so for the passive ability here, on spawn speed up, she has her speed up, check. If health is at full, she'll revive once. We already got that. Um, on revive, you gain day for, on her turn. Assist now plus speed up to a random Gamora ally. Gamora's right there. She has her, which one is assist now? Is that little weird low? I'm pointing to the screen like you're gonna be able to see it. You're not there. Um, but assist now is there, will assist the next character, the attack during the, okay, so yep. So that means on her turn, that always happens. And then gain plus 10% chance to assist, uh, so 50% chance, because I have four Infinity Watch allies, and this already has 10% chance to call, an, uh, to call an assist. So there should be two assists coming out. We're 50-50 chance for two. I'm definitely getting one from Gamora. All right, now go into the ability. Attack primary, and here's the thing. Um, I actually thought of this haphazardly, how to go through their abilities and stuff in the PvE campaign. If you like it when I do it like this more, uh, reading the kits and then trying to actually pick and go through the kits themselves and actually go through it like in depth, for real, like I'm learning. 
I'm learning. If you like it this way, let me know. If you don't like it, then I can just change up the format. But I do feel like I'm really getting to know the characters better when I do it like this, and I do it privately, so I might as well show you what I'm doing. Attack primary photography, 270% damage. Like, I'm not gonna go word for word here. Gain, I'm gonna gain evade. I'm gonna apply evade to all my allies. Counter attack and break. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this one was, yeah, see, I'm gonna open up with the A2, because the A2 is gonna give me all those counters. So I'm gonna open up with the A2, check. Because then I get counters on everybody. There's an assist, and then another assist. I don't know who the first assist came from. Oh, no, no, no. It was only one assist, and that was the assist from Gamora. All right, now Gamora, if you guys, in case you guys didn't know, Gamora now is empowered Gamora. She has a passive ability where when she loses her charges, then by the time it gets to her turn, if she has no charge, then she goes into empower Gamora instead of Gamora. Before, I only had Phyla and freaking um, Moon Dragon up to that level, and she starts off with four, so it only happened on the second go around. But now that I have Adam Warlock and Nebula on the team, she starts off empowered straight up. So, yeah, I'm trying to see if it's in, written on there anywhere, but it's not. I think it's a different, oh no, this is all about that, yeah. Okay, so now, open up with her A2, clear death proof from all enemies, they don't have any. Um, apply one death proof up to a maximum of three to all allies, if an enemy had a death proof. Okay, so we're going to just go anyway. Boom, attack all enemies. They all got them heal blocks on them. Okay, coffee, so I don't fall asleep. So here we go. Now Adam Warlock, he's important here. Attack primary target, apply ability block. I wanna put the ability block on, um, ooh. I wanna put the ability block on uh, Captain America, but here's the problem. Ability block means I'm doing that because I don't want him to taunt. However, apply ability block to, I'm attacking the primary target, apply ability block to all enemy villain protectors. There's none of those over there. However, if I apply disrupt it to all enemy protectors, all enemy protectors and not villains, then that means that I don't need to use this ability block on Captain America because he is a protector. So he's gonna get disrupted anyway. So he's not gonna be able to gain taunt because that disrupted blocks you from getting uh, positive status effects. So I hope this makes, I hope this like doesn't seem like too like, I don't know, pandering. Because I feel, oh, see, so no. So is Captain America not a protector? I thought for sure he's a protector. Maybe he's a brawler. Maybe he's a brawler. Oh, I might have messed that up. Maybe he's a brawler. All right, so clear all negative status effects from team. We don't have any negative status effects. And I like to hold that to the side until something happens. This will apply barrier as well, but I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Apply defense up and offense up to all allies. Okay, if the primary target has positive effect, apply... Two death proof to oh, oh, I already cleared all of the man, but this is why we're here. This is why we're here. We're learning, we're learning, okay. So now, and this is just the heal from Moondra. I know Moondra's kit so well already. I already know her kit, I already know what it is, but maybe I need to go ahead and let you guys know too. But I, I use Moon Dragon like all over the place because I think she's the best healer in the game. I'm sure somebody will tell me one that's better. I'm sure. If there is, let me know. But she has like two healing abilities that are pretty awesome. Clears uh, status effects, all that jazz. This here, offense up on kill speed bar by 100%. So I'm going to attack the least, the character with the least amount of health. And it looks like I'm kind of a minion. So maybe, nope, wasn't able to kill him. I was looking for that. Call assist from Nebula. Boom, they're gone. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and get that assist now. As you can see, it's already on Gamora. Attack primary target. Apply evade to all Infinity Watch allies. They give themselves, each character gives them a different kind of debuff, and it's pretty damn cool. Safeguard, so that means that nobody can take away my buffs because the safeguard will be down. Attack primary target. Stun. Okay, so let's see. What first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the primary target to that, and I'm going to stun cap. Bet. Attack again. We love to see it. All right. Cool. All right. Bang, bang. Looks like we're in a good way. Clear all negatives. I'm still gonna, I still want to save that for another time. Plus, I could take them out like that. That's cool. Bang. Bang. All right. That's what's up. Now... We attack here. Gamora's gonna assist. We already know. Thank you for that. Attack here. Oh, got him. Got him. 
Get him. Yep. Does Nebula... I need to check that too. Does Nebula always assist whenever Gamora attacks? I like that. Um, attack primary target, etc., etc. Stun. Oh, except for stun ability block. Apply two bleeds. Okay. So, that was prolonging the duration of those buffs, those debuffs that were already on cap. Let's hit somebody else since he's in a bad way. Ultron, you need some attention. Here we go. We're adding counters again to Infinity Watch. More counters. Boom, we love to see it. And then more healing and an AoE attack. Sup. And now Cap is invisible. Like, that's going to save him. Like, that's going to save him. All right, this is the attack for all. Whoop. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Um, if anybody knows that song, if any, put it in the comment section below. You get props. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, the minions from Ultra. But look at, look at, I mean, granted, I think we're pretty strong. But even Adam Warlock over here, who's like the weakest member, Nebula, who's not the strongest. And, you know, the last stage of Nexus isn't like an exact Kate walk. For characters at this level, or, I mean the 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 top three for Moon Dragon, Gamora, and Phyla, yeah, more so. But it wouldn't have been weird if Adam Warlock and Nebula died basically immediately. So yeah, like it, like it a lot. They're able to support each other pretty well, and it's not that I'm saying like oh this is all end all be all great great great. However, as what I'm noticing is that well the taunts from Hulk and uh, Cap are probably helping us out a lot. But the overall thing is that what I've noticed is that they're not losing health. Like, they, it's not even that, oh, they're still alive. Nebula's damn near full health. Adam Warlock is damn near full health. And they're not in a place where I feel comfortable letting them run with another team. You know what I'm saying? Like, Infinity Watch is doing them right. Cool. But I don't feel like they're in a place right now where they could run with a different team and it'd be okay, you know? So here we go. Uh, bet. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but what do I care now? We're like halfway through all this. So it's not going to matter much. And in fact, I'm going to run it on auto. Because here's what I'm having to consider. I do like how they're performing together. They're doing a lot... Better. I thought Nebula and Adam Warlock would die, or at least like get down to low health. They're not at all, and I'd want to know if it's because of Cap and Hulk, you know, being protectors, or is it because Infinity Watch is helping them? And so I'm tempted to go one more. Sorry, Joyson. I've told him already. I told my producer, Joyce, and that I was going to try to record a second video. But if I extend this and go into one more battle in the way that I've done now, which it'll probably be faster. I'm not going to really go that long. Then I probably won't record another video today. Probably not. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's hurry up and clear this riffraff out of the way. And then I'm going to check and see if I can do another one where I don't have any allies and it's just straight up them. And then that'll probably become my node for testing these teams anyway. Because I need the node to be hard and strong enough to deal with characters that are at like tier 15, tier 16. That's when I'm starting to test them to see if I want to take them to, you know, tier 16, tier 17, tier 18. So like 15, 16 to see if I want to take them to 16, 17, 18, you know. Uh, that's the, the plan. All right. So but three left. So we're clearly good to go here. Just trying to wait for them to hurry up, hurry up and finish. As a matter of fact, yep, 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 we good, we good. No, we not good. Yeah, we good. Bet. All right, cool. All right, so that's done. So I think, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check and see if I can find a node higher up here in this chapter where I don't have any allies to kind of distract from what the team is actually doing. Uh, let's stay in chapter six. As soon as that clicks over. All right, bet. Now, here's the other thing too, because they'll tell you enemies, but do they tell you, they don't tell you allies though. 
It would be nice if they were like, you get allies here, so that way I know to avoid it. And so all these teams are 241. You see what I mean? They're not easy. And neither Nebula nor Adam Warlock are, 200, are level 200. They're like at one something or another. And so, again, like I said, it's not about whether or not they survived. It's just straight up like I didn't see them losing. Hell, he's in the front row. I didn't even – I wanted to know if they were going to lose any health even. They didn't lose health even. So let us see. Let us see. The coffee to keep me awake. Okay, so I'm gonna come see you. See, there's Cap and and Hulk there, and I don't want to waste the energy, but I'm gonna have to waste the energy. <sighs> Quit. I'm gonna try Chapter Five, and then if not, then I don't know. I guess they just running with us this whole time. I guess they ran with us through this whole chapter. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It was a while ago when I beat it, so I don't know. Check, check, Joyson. All right, so right now I'm going to check these other notes. How much energy do I have left? But in the meantime, I wanted it to be clear what I did in that last video. See, that's that's not strong enough. Um, which was, or like in this video now, I've basically that when I centered up, make that leave that in the longer form video but then also clip that out and make that into a youtube short okay if you don't mind all right so let's try here no not auto win what am i doing what am i doing i'm clearly tired and yeah and this is going to be the last one because now time is running and i gotta go gotta get back gotta get back so and i'll try to record i think i'm going to take my equipment home tomorrow or I'll come by tomorrow I'll come by the office tomorrow to pick it up and then I'll try to record some stuff at home tomorrow let's see let us see so yep all right so here we go coming back in three two okay so you guys wouldn't have to watch me like go through each chapter to figure it out Chapter five, last note. This is the one that rewards you with uh, Thor Infinity Watch shards, at least now, as of recording here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is run this on auto. Now, the, the thing I'm looking for is I've gone through their kits, and I don't know them well. I'm going to have to do another video on them, more research. But what I'm looking for now is in that last node, because I had taunters. Oh, there's a Hulk there. Man... And there's a special agent. Not as bad as like having the cap and everything else. But what I'm trying to do here is that I want to know if Nebula and Hulk would, or Nebula and Adam Warlock, still be basically so well off with no damage. Like not receiving any damage if there weren't protectors that I did not already assign in there. Um, because in the last no for chapter six, like they didn't they did it wasn't this they just didn't see they receive any damage not that they didn't die they didn't receive anything and so i'm hoping honestly i would hope that this hulk here dies really soon but i'm gonna try to watch for the aoe attacks even because it seems as though that's a lot of hulks that is a lot of hulks uh so anyway but i want special agent gone and i want hulk gone like what's going on guys do better and I think the, the homework for me tonight is find a node that is challenging enough. You know, characters 200 plus, you know, that's challenging enough. Gamora is low on health. Okay, I see you. That's challenging enough, but doesn't have any assistance from any, like, um, non-playable character. No characters that I've actually put in. So, anyway. See, like, Gamora is being healed right now by Special Agent. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I want Gamora to be only taken care of by Infinity Watch. Period. Oh, and Nebula's, she's losing it. She's losing it now. Okay. All right. So that is kind of like the indicator that I was looking for. Now, she's not gone down. She still has, a, has her death proof up. Um, Special Agent actually shielded uh, Gamora there, I think. 
right? There was a dodge there that was probably from an evade, evade that um that Nebula put out. Okay, so there's another Hulk gone thanks to Phyla. Team up from Gamora and so many Hulks, so many Hulks. Anyway, just take out Special Agent and Hulk. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Oh. Adam Warlock healed up a bit. Adam Warlock hasn't really lost anything. Granted, I don't think he's been the focus, though. But still, there have been AOE attacks. So, he hasn't really lost anything. Anyway. Gamora got low for a bit, but then got healed up. And I think by Special Agent as well. Oof. Oof. Okay. Yeah, Gamora's low on health right now. Nebula's low on health right now. Adam Warlock's still fine, but he hasn't been the focus like those others have been. Yeah, Gamora healed up right there. I think that was based on regen, maybe? Let's see. Mm. Mm. Feels as though, maybe because it's a deflect there, feels as though even when these AOB attacks hit, I'm trying to watch Adam Warlock specifically. He's not taking as much. I wonder if he has like super high defense. Need to check those stats. Check those stats. Now he's low on health. As soon as I start to mention it, now they're low on health. Okay. All right. Boom. Violet. So many Hulks. Okay. But they're all healed back up. And then part of this is Moon Dragon, but part of Special Agent. Mm. Gonna have to check. This video went way longer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a quick 10, 15 minute video, read the kits, whatever. But now I'm, I like the concept of actually going through their kits while in battle, then selecting those, selecting the, um, selecting the actual attack then based on it. So actually doing that properly. Uh, let's be real though, special agent ain't going down. I mean, she's there. Maybe I should be putting resources into her. Oh, and the second I say that. <laughs> but she survived pretty well. Uh, let's see. So Nebula has no death proof up. It's her turn now. She's doing some damage. She has evade up. So I think that was her her using the A3. She has speed, two speed ups now. Assist, exploit weakness. Okay. File is in there on A1. They still have a taunt up there over on Hulk. Okay. I mean, I will say this, despite Adam Warlock's kit not really impressing me, and I think I do like Nebula's kit, seeing them work together and how each of them assigns different buffs to the others based on their like A2s or A3s, I really do like that. I like that a lot. I think they are a good team. I really can't wait until I have like Nebula and Adam Warlock at a more like representative power level, like north of 250, north 200, whatever. Because right now they're just really not there. But they seem good. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. Please like, please subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe and a dislike. I'm okay with that as well. See you next time.